talk show host Wendy Williams is trying to make us feel sorry for R. Kelly. Lady, really? R. Kelly is accused of serially abusing women and girls. And yet, Williams used her airtime to lament that the R&B singer can't read, write, or add. Here's what doesn't add up. She only mentioned his alleged victims to blame their parents. And if you're so desperate that you want your kids to be stars or whatever, and you're gonna unleash your daughters to the world, you better watch what you get. Because this is not these girls just running away. You see what I'm saying? There are parents who gladly will push their 15 year old lip gloss popping, booty popping and all that stuff to the arms of an older man. This is the mentality that's enabled Kelly to get rich while preying on women and girls for decades. In case you forgot, he's been sued for sexual misconduct, statutory rape, aggravated assault, and unlawful restraint. He's been indicted and later acquitted on 21 counts of child porn. And yet he's remained a celebrated artist who doesn't get that this is not okay. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? But it's a different era now. The Me Too and the Time's Up movements are taking hold, and the black women behind the Mute R. Kelly campaign want his sponsors to ditch him. His lawyer, publicist, and assistant recently quit, but that is not enough. It's time for Sony and RCA Records to do the socially responsible thing and drop Kelly from its roster. Their silence is disgusting. It suggests that they don't care about the health and safety of women and girls, and specifically of black women and girls. The venues, the local radio stations that sign him, they need to hear our voices, and not just black women's voices, everybody needs to speak up. Kelly's team says he's being subjected to a public lynching. What kind of ahistorical nonsense is that? It's an insult to our ancestors who actually were executed this way. Look, I feel like R. Kelly's time is almost up. When we demonstrate that we will not tolerate companies profiting off of a star who serially abuses women and girls, that's not called a lynching, it's called doing the right thing.